Hello, my name is Kala Siddiqui and in this video we are going to learn how to test the buttons in your HME wireless drive through base station. That, this is for base 6100 and base 6200. Um, so most of the time these buttons, uh, they don't work and uh, no matter how hard you press them, you don't get any functionality from them. And how do you test and how do you diagnose it? That's where what we're uh, going to learn. Uh, in order to test the buttons, you go to menu. Well, hopefully this button is not bad because if this button is bad, then you can't even do this. You press menu and then you press more. Hopefully that button works too. And then you go to diagnostics and then test buttons. When you're in test buttons, whichever button works when you press it, the check mark will be highlighted. For example, this button of course works because we just tested it, right? So the check mark is highlighted. This one, no matter how hard I press it, the check mark is not being highlighted. So this is a bad button. So what I do, I put a mark on this. I know I need to replace it. This, this one is good. This one is okay, but you have to press it really hard to get a check mark. This one is bad. So this needs to be replaced. This one is also bad. Needs to be replaced. This one is okay. I mean, it's not, I had to press it a few times, but it works. This is good. So we have one, two, three bad, but, bad buttons. The rest are okay. And that's how you test them. Now, how do you replace them? To replace them, to replace those buttons, first you have to get these types of buttons. I mean, uh, the exact size. You, you get a kit like this and you will, I think this one is the exact size. And then you open it. You unplug it. After you unplug it, you open these. Let's see. You open all these screws. All these screws. So I'm going to do that so you can see. Just a second. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, eleven, twelve. So you have a dozen screws to remove. Twelve screws. You can unplug the vehicle detector. And now let me unplug this one too. I had to like release this from here so it can lean on the back. These are the buttons that need to be replaced. And if you see, when you buy the kit, you have to see which one matches that one. And I believe this one is an exact match. So this is the one that you will be uh, using, this guy. 
which is three millimeter. Six by six by four, three millimeter. That's the one. This is the information for it. So So we had two on the upper right that were defective. I mean, you could always go back and see which ones were defective. And here, you, you could see, um, let me zoom out so you can see. You could go back and see like two upper right, and then on the left, the second one on the top. So that means the two upper right and the second one on the left. Second and two upper right needs to be replaced. Now it's time to replace them. We need a soldering wire or solder. It's called solder. We need some solder here. So you have to solder, I mean, heat up both edges so it can come off. I, I heated both of them. That uh, switches out. We need a little bit of paste. This is clear soldering paste. You need this for, for a clean and neat soldering job. After that, notice how short the legs have been cut off. See how short the legs have been cut off. The new ones are not like that. The new ones are much longer. So first I need to make sure this is the right switch. One second. Well, I'm gonna get one a little longer. Yeah, this is the one. See, the thing is you have to make sure the height matches, otherwise your new switch will not work. So you have to make sure the height of the switch matches. And I believe the longer one matches. So I get the longer one. Now we will cut the legs just as short as, as they did. And we solder it. Now remember that these two sides or on the right, you can't put it this way. The the soldering uh, pins are on the right. Make uh, if you see the printout right here, the square printout. You have to match that printout. First, put the single pin before you put all of them. Uh, solder single pin only. I had it wrong, so there it is. Now it's correct. Okay, so a single pin is soldered, and now we have to adjust its crookedness.
Okay, so it's a little too much to the left, so it has to be adjusted. This is very critical because you need to do it with two hands. Actually, I need another device. Okay, much better. Now we will anchor the second one. The third. I'm gonna use some solder. Second one we remove. Put some soldering paste. Put the second button. Make sure you cut the wires at the same length, otherwise, you'll have the problem of one being too long. Excuse my long nails. When you do mechanical work, you have to have long nails to use your nails as a tool. Just like the last one, put the first one pin first, and then you could put the second. Just to be on the safe side, put a little more. And then on this side, we have a defective one too. Let's adjust the camera. This guy is bad. So this guy's got to go. This side a little a little harder because there are components nearby. You can't damage those components. Okay. Now there is very little room here to work with. I'm going to break the uh, twist them so the pins can break and then I will remove it later because I don't have much room so these pins broke and then I will remove it later I'm 
Good thing the pins didn't actually break, it separated itself. Because I didn't see the residue of the pin there. Now we will cut the wires on this one. And solder it in place. I think in order to do a clean soldering job I need to remove the screen because the screen is on the way so to remove the screen it's not very hard you pull these two tabs and just open the four screws The problem with the screen is it has washers here, so these washers you have to hold it and turn it. So it's it's too much, too much trouble. What I'm gonna do is try to squeeze in without having to remove the screen, because that's like getting into a new can of worms, which I don't want to do. So, I'm going to need a higher magnification glasses. Okay, so I put one wire only. very little grip the one wire I put came off okay so I successfully put that side now I'm gonna put the other end So I had to shorten this further, put some more paste, I ran out of paste, and do a second round, see if I'm going to have success this time. Okay. Cold soldering is really bad, so you have to put some
satellite reception. Okay, it seems to be good. That was a hard one, very difficult one. Let's see now. Moment of truth is to test it, see if it works. Let me clean the lens, clean the screen. Because I had fingerprints all over it, so I need to clean it. Now, in order to test it, you don't have to put all the screws, just put a few screws, maybe four screws right here by the screen to test it. Okay. Now we test it first before we put all the other screws. Lost satellite reception. Okay, so we go to mm, let me go to the top screen. Top camera, I mean. Menu. And from menu we go to more. We go to Diagnostics, uh, Test Buttons, test this one, check mark, check mark, check mark. This one was hard in the beginning. I should have replaced this too. There, this one needs to be replaced. But anyways, I have all check marks. Check. 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 And check. So all the buttons have check mark, uh, meaning they passed the test, although this one was really hard to press. But yeah, so this is how you replace the buttons. And now we have to turn it back off and continue to mount the rest of the screws put the rest of the screws in and there are no sh shortages of screws here so many screws my god there's a lot of screws there's a lot of screws so let's put this so that was four five six Seven. You have to count the screws. You must count the screws because if you don't count the screws, uh, you could you could put fewer screws and not even know it if you're missing a screw. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight so far. Nine. Nine, ten, eleven, and we're missing the twelve. Twelve, no screws left outside. We're good. Three buttons replaced, and uh, Third, the third button is missing, but yeah, there it is. So these three buttons were replaced with the standard push buttons from a push button kit. Yeah, so so that's how how easy it was. I guess it wasn't easy. It was pretty challenging, but yeah, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.